Hello guys, you are welcome back to this series on JavaScript. My name is Abida Kota Unife, an instructor at SKI College of ICT. In our last video, we looked at output commands. In this video, we continue from there. So, let's get straight to work. If I have an input and I have a value inside, this is a value attribute, and I set the value attribute as 10. Of course, as expected, if you get to the browser, you expect that uh, you will see you see 10 in the value. You're going to see that. So value is an output command. You can also do something like this. Give this an ID. I can call it any any name of my choice. Uh, any name of my choice. Let me call it my input. So I can come here and say my input dot value equals to maybe something. That is change the value of this my input to seventy. So once I go to the browser. I'll see 70 there. What happened is uh, initially, whenever the browser loads, 10 will be there initially. This is it. At first, 10 will be there, but immediately, you know, because your code is from the top to the bottom, so if you first put 10 there, but because the browser loads very fast, it's going to replace the value with 70. Do you understand now? Now, um, that value we said the value attribute to anything. Another thing you have to keep in mind is even if this doesn't have, if it's not stated here, let's assume. The value attribute is not stated there because input this input tag this input element has a default it has a default value of null that, uh, of empty empty string it has a default value of empty string so you can still access the dot value here so it's not a must for you to put value attributes it's not a must you may choose not to and uh, you can change the value using this do you understand so you only use you use the value attribute if you want it to have a default value, but if not, it's not a must to state it. It's not a must. Okay. So, one of the questions my students always ask is, uh, or my students usually ask is, the difference between that value, this value attribute, and uh, inner text or inner HTML, or let me put it this way, when to use value and when to use inner text or inner HTML. This is it. Generally, I put it this way that use dot value when you are dealing with an editable container. Input is an editable container, meaning that uh, you can edit the value on the browser. Do you understand? Text area is, an, is another editable container. You can edit the value on the browser, the value inside it. Select You can edit the value on the browser. So, if you are dealing with editable container, you use the dot value attribute. So, I can do something like this. I can give this an ID and access the dot value. Do you understand? I can access the dot value. I can give this also an ID and access the dot value too. And access the dot value. So, use the dot value when you are dealing with editable container and use the inner HTML or inner text when you are dealing with. Uh, Editable containers like P. If I write good evening, once I get to the browser, I can't edit the value of this good evening. Users cannot edit the value inside this good evening. If you have a div, I say hello. Users cannot edit it if you have a span to I say hi. Users cannot edit this container too. So use the dot value attribute when you are dealing with editable container and use the inner HTML or inner text when you are dealing with ineditable container. Thank you very much. We'll meet in the next video.